It's Dr. Erica with Rosie Research, and in this video, we're going to learn how to make conducting paint. Now, you might ask, why do I need conducting paint? Well, if you want to do simple electronics projects with your kids and you don't want to use soldering irons, which are really hot and somewhat dangerous, you're going to need something to help all of your connections get a little bit better. We've used conducting paint to make things like our fun little light up animals. And so if you haven't checked out this video after you make the conducting paint, go over and check out the video so you can make this with some clothespins, copper tape, and conducting paint. So the conducting paint really just helps us connect copper tape pieces to any other pieces that we're working for. And the reason why we need it is sometimes when you make simple circuits on paper, they look like they should work, but they don't. So this is a little simple circuit we have um, a battery holder with a battery and copper tape going through our LED and back to the battery. This should work. I have troubleshooted it already. The LED works, the battery works, everything's in the right alignment, but it doesn't work. Probably because I don't have great connections between everything. And this is one of the things that can be really frustrating for kids when they're doing these simple electronics projects with copper tape and LEDs and little coin cell batteries, when things don't work for them and you've got to like add 10 pieces of copper tape to try to make it work and you don't understand why because the circuit looks okay but it's not okay for some reason because it's not lighting up, it gets really frustrating. Which is why I make conducting paint. Now you can buy something similar to this online and they come in like really skinny, long syringes. And they're probably five to $10 per syringe and you can put it on. They work far better than what we're gonna make, but they're really toxic and they smell really bad. They always give me a migraine whenever I use them. So I can't, I don't, I teach so many classes that I don't wanna have that around kids, if you know what I mean. Like who knows who's gonna start eating something or get it on their hands and not wash their hands. It's just. A headache I don't want to deal with. So I make it out of two ingredients. Elmer's glue, which is safe for schools. I mean, I don't think you want to eat it, but it's not toxic. And graphite. Don't want to eat this, but it's basically ground up pencil lead. So of the two options, I'm going to go with this option around kids. Hopefully your kids are not eating or licking their circuit projects. If they are, maybe they're too young. I don't know. Um, so it shouldn't be a problem in terms of like worrying about lead. Um, I got this online on Amazon. This you can get anywhere. I don't know about other graphites if they work or not. This is just the one I've always used. I have seen some people online make their own conducting paint with colors using acrylic paints. And so instead of glue, they use a colorful acrylic paint. Personally, I don't think it works as well. I really dig sort of the water-based Elmer's glue. Super simple to make. All you're going to do is in sort of whatever sort of container you want, you're going to add some Elmer's glue. And you want to add enough for how much ever paint you want to make. Um, you do want to make sure that whatever you're making this in, you're not planning on eating out of later because, you know, you're going to have all of that pencil dust in there. So once you add a little bit of glue in there. So I've got some glue. I'm gonna start adding in graphite. You're gonna add in a lot more graphite than glue, okay? It should be really dark. So one scoop, it's gonna make it like a grayish color. You see this, it's, I'm sort of, you gotta go, it's like cooking, you gotta go like one little bit at a time. But you want to make sure that you got a lot of the graphite in there. And my glue is a little drying out on me, but that's okay. So you gotta mix it up really good. And once you have it again looking like a liquidy glue, that's when you want to add in more of the graphite. So you can just add in another scoop. And you kind of almost want to do this until you can't add in any more. So get it all mixed in. And it can take a little bit. I might have added a little too much to this one because I didn't have very much glue to start with. Let's see. 
Maybe we'll add a little bit more glue in here. Uh-oh, I might be running out. We'll see if just that little bit more goes. Sort of reminds me of making pie dough, where you gotta get it just right. But see, now it's getting nice and thick and pasty. And we can always also add a little bit of water to this and water down the glue. I'm gonna add a little bit more glue. It's still a little too thick. Just a little bit more. All right. And what we'll do is then we'll sort of paste over the joints and see if it's gonna help us. So I have it really thick. You can add a little bit more glue if you wanted to. Um, let's see if I can paint with it. Might not be paintable yet. Let's try that. So once you have it, you're gonna add it to all your joints. So on this paper, I have a piece of tape that comes here and then joins another piece of tape, so I wanna do it there. I'm just gonna paint over it. Like that. And you don't really need to worry about what it looks like. If you're gonna make LED cards or light up little animals, I'm gonna add a little bit more glue. If you're gonna make things, you can always hide that glue under a layer of paint if you don't want the black there. Um, but you just want to make sure that you're getting a good connection because it's sort of a bummer if you do all that work and then you don't have anything that you can show for it, anything that lights up. So the nice thing about this conductive glue too is that it's really cheap. So, you, you know, you can make it, this I think was like $6, so it's pretty cheap, um, and when you run community programs like me, cheap is good. So we're gonna keep adding here. I have another piece of tape on the other side. I'm gonna try to get into the battery piece. And here. Let's see if we can get this guy to go. And we can also do the connections at the LED. So let's see. Oh, there we go. So right there when I hit that, the LED went on just a little bit. We'll do the other side that and let's see sometimes you want to wait for it to dry a little bit and it'll get the LED will get a little brighter as the water dries away but I have a very faint little LED that's working now um, so that is really exciting and it's a great way to use this conductive paint you can still keep fiddling with it and with the battery pieces. I've never used these battery holders before, so that might be a problem. It usually works really well if I just have sort of the fold over flap on the battery. Um, but we'll sort of see how it goes with this. Maybe I need to paint up the battery sides of the holder a little bit. I don't know. But it is on, and it is getting a little bit brighter, which is kind of nice. So it might, when it dries, be just perfect. But again, this once, even when kids see it light up a little bit, they get really excited. And then you don't have to worry about like, oh, it's not working, we did the circuit wrong. You can just say, oh, we have too many connections maybe, or it's not you know, doing a great job with the battery or something like that. What I am excited about the battery holders, even though I've never used these before, is that you can flip out the batteries whenever you want to, which I think is really cool. But we'll see how we'll see how this one turns out. So if you're gonna do a lot of electronics, just make your own conductive glue out of just graphite and Elmer's glue. 
Super simple to make, non-toxic in terms of the glue, not what you want to eat in terms of the graphite, but a lot better than what you're going to buy online. So hopefully you do this and check out our other simple electronics projects that we have with the copper tape and batteries and LEDs that you can do with your kids every evening. And make sure to subscribe to us so that you'll get video updates whenever we come out with a new project. Thanks so much for joining us today.